All right, so I'm making this video to show you how to set up a creative pixel in TikTok for a Go High Level page. And I know that there's a way to do it in Google Tag Manager. It's probably a lot easier, but um, I don't want to have to go set up a Google Tag Manager every time. So I'm going to just do it the manual way because uh, it's way faster. Um, so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. So you're going to log in. You're going to go to Assets at the top. You're going to hit Events. And then it's going to say manage uh, web events. You're going to hit manage, not app events. You're going to say create pixel. And you're going to create it with TikTok pixel connection method here. You're going to hit next. You're going to say, you're going to name it. So this one's for CKC Lubbock, it's the name of the company. Manually inter install pixel code. And then so I'm going to create two events. So it's the first page. Basically, it's view content, and the second page, which is a thank you page, is going to be like subscribed or um, you know lead. I don't think they have a lead one, but they have a subscribe button. So same thing. All right, so I hit manual. I'm going to hit next, and you're going to click standard. It says you can't be ch change it after this. So hit standard mode. Hit create, and then this is where you're going to get grab the uh, the two the two links. Uh, advanced automatic matching matching is used with your pixel. Automatically scan customer info and website to match web events and TikTok users. If the info is hashed and shared with TikTok to help uh, attribute more conversions with your ads, I'll just uh, keep that on. Um, and then, so here's the code. So if you skip this step, I had trouble about finding the same code again. I don't know where to find it, but so just make sure you copy that code first, and then you're going to go into the funnel that you choose. In high level and you're going to click settings and you're going to paste it into the head tracking code all right so the last four is v7ug uh, I'm, I'm going to click save i'm going to go back to the TikTok installation process here and then v7ug i just double check all right so we're going to hit next and then it says click events or track URL events. So I'm going to track the URL events. Um, and then the first one's going to say view content. The URL contains, um, it is going to be the first step. So the first page so here, I'm going to enter that URL. And then this is advanced settings. You can put that on here, but I, you don't have to do anything with that. So the next one, you're just going to add another one. So this one's view content. That's selected. You're going to go to the thank you page. You can grab that one. You're going to go back. You're going to hit, um, you're going to select subscribe. So subscribe. I mean, you can choose whatever you want, just so you know what it is. But I just click subscribe because it says track, track when a visitor subscribes on your web one page uh, website, including follows content or paid subscriptions. Um, maybe there's another one, uh, click button, complete payment, complete registration. Um, track a visitor when he signs up for something such as an account registration. Um, it could be that you can do it, whatever, uh, submit form. That's just them submitting the form. Um, so I want to say subscribe because they subscribe to your, uh, the, your lead form. So we're going to say subscribe and then um, you're going to put the thank you page there and you're going to say complete setup. And then there's a point where it says download helper uh, and it's a little pixel. It's grayed out right here at the very top right where I'm moving my mouse arrow. So now, uh, so if you go to that part on test events, it'll say, um, or I'm sorry, in settings, is it in settings? Active change log. All right, so in uh, change log, it just shows you what we just created. Um, settings is, I thought that's where they showed you that. Anyway, there's another part in here where you can create the, um, or download the, uh, the pixel helper. Oh, maybe it's on this page. 
Yeah, right here. It says check pixel code. My bad. So if you check that, it'll say download TikTok Pixel Helper. And I guess it's supposed to look like this when it's when it's uh, activated. Um, but it's this one in right here at the top right. And then so we can go back to web events. We can go back to events. Manage. Um, and then so you see the pixels right here, no recent activity. So we installed that in there. So let's see if it fires off. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the first page. So this should light up black. That's blue. Oh, there it goes. So it's got a one next to it. It says one pixel found there. View content. That's correct. The next one is the thank you page. And so we're going to go to the thank you page. And it should say one. It should say subscribe. And it does. So it works. So we're good to go. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any uh, any issues or anything, like I literally just figured this out um, by watching another video with a guy that was doing it through Google Tag Manager. And so um, I didn't like it because I didn't want to use Google Tag Manager. Uh, anyway, so that's it. That's how you do it. Set up a uh, pixel using uh, manual installation from TikTok to go high level. Thanks for watching.